Hi guys, just wanted to welcome you to the strength and conditioning class. Just a few things, um, an inventory take, you should have a mat. If you need modifications, you should have a chair. Uh, I will be showing all modifications for everything. And if you have an array of dumbbells, it's helpful because every exercise is different. You use smaller muscle groups, larger muscle groups. So I'll let you know um, when you should go heavy or light or moderate. Um, the other thing I want to remind you is to make sure you please hydrate before, during, and um, after class. It's, it's really hot today, so I want you guys to make sure you're well hydrated. You should always be well hydrated, but especially during hot weather. So I'm going to warm you guys up. Let's get right to business. Okay, let's do a little cat-cow. Ready? Round that spine, tuck the chin to the chest. Exhale, gaze forward, heart forward. Repeat, inhale. Exhale, let's do it one more time. And slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. And tap. And here are modified jack arms. Okay, if you want to take it up to a regular jumping jack, it's your call. I'll be showing all different levels of fitness so you make the call. So slowly getting that body to start warming itself up. Okay, we're gonna start to go into a squat. So legs should be hip to shoulder width apart. When you squat down, be sure not to allow the knees to cave in. Push through your heels. It's down, up. Okay, I'm gonna add some different arms. I want you to activate the muscles in your back. I call these eagle arms because we're going to be doing eagle jumps later. You do not have to jump if you don't want. There's always going to be a low impact alternative. Keep that chest lifted during your squats. Crown of the head to the sky. Five more. Use your breathing. Breathe on every rep. Okay, let's just do a quad stretch. Three second holds. Grab onto a wall, a chair if you need it, and switch. Knee points to the floor, press your hips forward. One more time on each leg. And switch. Okay, I'm gonna show you option one in a plank jack. You're in a plank, shoulders are always over the wrist, hips parallel to the floor. You can add a side to side tap, okay? You can always add your jack. To always make it harder, you go to the floor for any kind of plank. So let's just kind of practice that jack. Now keep your shoulder blades retracted. Keep those hips parallel to the floor. No butts up in the sky. Stabilize with those shoulders. Abdominal muscles engaged. One more, three, two, and let's come up. Hip flexor stride. You're going to put your hands on the chair. This is option one. You're going to stretch. You have the option to bring your hands here or all the way up. Then you're going to switch. Okay. More advanced would be on the ground. Up. So we're just trying to stretch out the front of the hip. Stretch the lats. Get a little bit of a calf stretch in there. Let's do four more. Make sure that you're breathing, you're opening up those lungs. Okay, we're gonna be doing curtsy lunges, but I'm gonna give you an alternative. Those of you who have knee issues, you're gonna tap back and up, just like tap back. Let's do, sit into it a little bit deeper for the curtsy and then tap, curtsy. So when you're doing a curtsy lunge, you want your hips and shoulders to face forward. Don't let the hips turn out, okay? So we're targeting a little bit more of the outer hip, glute, Okay, let's go. 
in the opposite direction. Curtsy, up. Pushing right through that heel. Because you're gonna be using weight, so I have you using no weight right now, just to get comfortable with the leg part, and then as soon as you add the upper, you'll be solid with the legs. Okay, widen that stance, toes point forward, stretching out your inner thigh. Come up, other side. So the straight leg side is the side we're trying to stretch. And really sit that hip back. So I'm priming you guys for skaters, because I want you to be able to have a nice flat back, neutral spine. And I want you guys to be able to get low, so we're slowly easing into it. Two more. One more. Okay, we're gonna go to push-ups now. Everyone on the floor, or the ground. So you do have the option to be on your knees, if you're gonna be on your knees. I want you to make sure either way, whether you're off your knees or on your knees. I want your shoulders to be over your wrists. Make sure your hands are way out in front. Your palms should come around your armpits. Skim your sides with your elbows and exhale press. So this is called a close grip push-up. So let's do a few or five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now you can either hold it up in a high plank or go back to your knees. Keep your shoulders over your wrists. Now wake up your back. Five of these. Stabilize your hips. Squeeze the muscles in your back because you're going to be using dumbbells for this. Okay, let's go right into a downward facing dog. Deep breath, inhale. Press the tailbone to the sky. Press those heels back. Inhale, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, you can also do this at the chair. We have three more to go. Nice long spine. Okay, walk one hand behind the other, slowly rolling up. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more modification for people who have never done a burpee. Shoulders over the wrists, you're gonna go. Left leg back, right leg back, left leg in, right leg in, up. Okay, option two. Two more and then I'm gonna show the modification, right leg lead, and go, right leg lead. Now if you're all doing option one, I want you to make sure you keep switching lead legs. Don't just stay with that same leg. Okay, you guys should be warmed up by now. So we're gonna do our first exercise. I'd suggest moderate to heavy weight. We're gonna be doing squats with overhead presses. We are gonna be squatting side to side, so it's a little bit different. We're gonna go for a minute. All right, so it's gonna be side squat, overhead press, sit, push. Let's go one minute. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. So I've tried to choose exercises that are multi-joint, work more muscles, more muscle groups than just one. Therefore, you burn more calories. You get that heart rate up a little higher. Focus on the breath. We have 15 more seconds. Okay, put your dumbbell down. You're gonna go option one, option two. Let's go. Last 15, we're gonna speed it up. All 
All right, let's go faster. Nice job, you guys. Heavy weight. Heavy. Okay, this is the curtsy lunge. Grab water whenever you have to, okay? Or we'll want to. We're gonna stay on one side. And we're gonna add a bicep curl. 30 seconds. Go. Get low. Keep pulling those shoulders back. Chest stays lifted. Ten seconds left. Okay, switch sides. Shoulders back. Try to get your thigh parallel to the ground. Five seconds. Okay, spread your dumbbells wide. We're gonna do skater. So, you're gonna look like this. You're gonna try to reach for the dumbbell now. Your form is abominable, don't touch the dumbbell. Just reach towards the dumbbell. 30 seconds, okay? Just like that. And go. Use your arms to get from side to side. Let's go a little faster now. All right, nice job, you guys. And moderate weight, these are gonna be kickbacks. Tricep. Two options on this one. Go to the chair, stop and start. Wrist under, elbow. Not all the way to the shoulder, okay? Too easy. Option two. I apologize. Your hand's gonna go here if you do an option two. I set you up the wrong way. Okay, so low lunge, hold the elbow up, kick back 30 seconds, go. Push, gaze is straight ahead. Nice flat back. Tweak that tricep by rotating the wrist up. 10 seconds left. Okay, switch. So you go back to the chair, switch arms if you're at the chair. Get your forearm down, shoulders level, hips level. And go. Relax the shoulders. Stop at the extension for a second. Really get that pump. We have 10 seconds. All right, moving on. Okay, so you have the option to, actually, you know what, get rid of the dumbbells, you don't need dumbbells. Here's option one. You could do what we did at the beginning, tapping the heel, or jump switch, but do not allow the shoulders to go behind the wrist. Keep them over the wrists. The harder version is on the ground. Do what's challenging yet manageable. Let's go. Use your abdominal muscles to do this move.
15 seconds. Okay, nice job. Have the heaviest weight you have nearby, a pair. 30 seconds of close grip push-ups followed by renegade rows. You don't need the dumbbells right now, just have them near you. Okay, your hands, shoulder width apart. This is the movement. Option one, go when you're ready. Elbows go to the back of the rock. You feel them skimming your sides. Option two, off the knees. Exhale on the way up. Inhale down. Really tighten those abs, especially on the way up. Go low. Nice job. Heavy dumbbells. Shoulders over the wrists. Pull your knees back so you get more core. If you're gonna stay on your knees, if you wanna come up, off those knees, keep those hips parallel to the ground. Lead with your elbow. Shoulders level, hips level. Halfway there. Ten seconds. <clears throat> Excellent job. We're going to do burpees. Now remember, you don't have to jump. You can always do the step up version. Okay? So, alternate your legs up, you're gonna do the step up version. So left, then right. The rest of you are doing either a regular burpee or a burpee 180 turn. Let's go. Keep it going. Eight seconds left. Nice job. Hit grab. Light to medium. I'll go light. See how the first set goes. So we're going to do reverse flies, but the grip is going to be a little different. Palms are gonna face the back. Okay, usually you have your palms face each other. One new hip hinge, neutral spine, no rounding, okay? So hinge and go, elbows to shoulder height. Slight bend to the elbows. Chest slightly parallel, slightly higher than parallel to the ground. The gaze is somewhat forward. Run like a neutral cervical spine. So you don't want your head all the way down. You don't want it also poking up. Okay, incline fly, same way. Palms forward. Bring your dumbbells up to a V shape. Come down, control it. Exhale, pause. Come to the upper portion of your chest. So this. This simulates the movement of when you're in an incline bench. Since we're not at gyms, most of us don't have incline benches. This is the way you can kind of target the upper portion of your chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Plank jack. Eagle Jack, option one. One, two, one, two. One more time, one, 
two. Option two. Oh, sorry. Or you could do, or you could do two jumping jacks if the eagle jump is just not for you. Okay, ready? 30 seconds, two jacks. Two eagle jumps. We're halfway there already, you guys. We did it. Nice job. Okay, going back to the squat side to side. Overhead press. Okay, I'm going to go heavier, so think about it. Were you, was it maxing you out? You can always go lighter, especially in your second set, you're all warmed up. And step side squat, overhead press. Get a little lower now in your squats. Ten seconds. All right, nice job. Okay, plan is we're going to do all the hit stuff after stream. Going to curtsies, bicep curls. This side, ready? Curtsy, curl. Maybe add a knee lift. Shoulders back. Focus on something. Halfway there. Other side. Get nice and low. All right, let's go to kickbacks. Again, I think I'm going to go a little heavier. My form is good. Now, don't compromise form to go heavier. Rule number one. Okay, this is modification at the chair. Okay, let's get down. Hold it. Go. Shoulders level. It's very tempting to lift the shoulder up. Switch sides. Okay, elbow up the shoulder height, wrist under the elbow. Go. Abdominal muscles engaged. Breathing on each rep. Okay, we have that close grip push-up. 
Have you jumped those nearby? This is the one that the elbows skim the sides on. It's a little bit harder than those wide push-ups. Press those hips forward if you're on your knees. Off your knees. Really engage the muscles in your back. Tighten those abs. Ten seconds. Rows. We're going to go a little longer on those rows because we're doing alternating. But don't let that bother you. Keep your shoulders over your wrists. Just like that, okay? Or off your knees. Ready? And pull. Try not to let those hips pivot. Squeeze the muscles between your shoulder blades. All right, excellent. We're going to do reverse flies. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have you guys do the incline flies first because we just did back. So let's give you a little, your back a little break. You might go heavier. Okay, palms forward. Slight bend to the elbow. Stand up tall. Go. Like a little V. Pinky's lead. Pause. Take it down and control. Really stabilize that body. Five seconds. Okay, reverse flies. How your arms? All right, ready? Back. Out to the side. Pause. Halfway there. Okay, we got to go to our hit training now. So, you have the option to add your dumbbell in there to have like a little bit of a gauge that you want to have to jump over or step over. Have some water before we go into this little interval. Okay, each interval is going to be 30 seconds. All right, let's go. Option one, two. Pick it up. Fifteen seconds to recover. Skater. Wide. This is option one. Two. Okay. Go. Okay, pick it up now. Stay wide. Stay low. Okay, 15 
seconds recovery. Oh, jump switch. You can do a tap. You can switch. Or you can do it on the ground. And go. dumbbells for the floor. Starting in a mason twist, one dumbbell. Okay, cut the dumbbell. Lean back slightly. Long spine. Side to side. Legs up for two. one. Next one's a little bit confusing. Now, if you've never done a dead bug, don't use weight. Okay, dead bug looks like this. 
palms forward, knees bent, the shins are parallel to the floor, your lower back is pressing into the mat. Opposite arm leg, go back, come up. Go back, come up, let's go. Now, if you're very, very confused, just do the legs portion and focus on keeping a neutral spine. Make sure you're not hyperextending. Keep, keep those abs nice and tight and flat. Okay, we have two more, which is actually four. Then we're gonna do double pullovers with an option to extend the legs. You can always take a break if you've had enough. So tuck, head and shoulders come up, stretch, reach, come up. Four more, three, two, one, okay. Same dumbbell, keep it in your hand. We're gonna do some lateral raises in combination with a side plank. If you have never done a side plank, don't use weight, don't do the upper body. I'd rather see you work on your core. Elbow underneath the shoulder, hip stack, knee stack, ankle stack. All you're gonna do is lift and lower. The longer the lever, the harder the move, okay? So you're gonna drop your hips, and lift into a lateral raise. Sweep it down. Up. So make sure your shoulder, your hand, your arm is right above your shoulder. Everything is neatly stacked. Notice how I'm going very slow on my way down. I try, I try not to flop. It's tempting, but I don't. Okay, let's go to the other side. Now, chief complaint, and this is universal, my shoulder, my shoulder. Unless it's like a sharp pain, you will work through that, okay? And nobody likes the pressure on the shoulder in a side plank. As you get stronger, it's not as, as annoying. Okay, so option one, two, three, four, go. Oh, sorry, sweep it out and up. I was doing more of a reverse play. So you're focusing on, the, focusing on the oblique closest to the floor and the middle head of your deltoid, medial head. Excellent job. Okay, next one is for the lats and the lumbar spine. Pretty much your whole, all your, your whole posterior chain. You're gonna do a Superman with a combination lat pull down. So it looks like this. Head and shoulders up, tuck your chin, pull down and down, 10 of them. And up, pull, and down, up. Breathe on each one. Squeeze those lats, the muscles that run down your back. So this marks the lat pull down machine at the gym. We can get that same pump by just resisting gravity and contracting our arm muscles. Okay, back to our mason twist. 30 seconds, option to cup your dumbbell, just use your interlaced fingers, whatever works for you, it's your work workout, ready? Keep your heels down. If you're new to this and you feel like you need more back support, keep the chest lifted. Long spine. Okay, back 
to our dead bug. So, knees over the hips, lower back pressing into the mat, wrists and arms directly over the shoulder, opposite arm leg, reach, hover the leg over the floor or the ground and up. Inhale, exhale. Focus on the breath. Never holding your breath. Now, if you feel like your back is straining, stop, fix your pelvic tilt. Tuck your tailbone under more. Two more. Okay, let's do a double pullover. Head and shoulders come up. Shovel slightly bent. You do not have to touch those dumbbells to the back or onto the floor. You do not. Everybody has different ranges of motion in their shoulders. So listen to your body. And if anything is ever painful, you do not do it. Four more. Side plank, lateral raise. You guys, we only have two more things and we're done. Okay, so shoulder always over the elbow. Hips stack, knees stack, ankles track. Okay, ready? And go, sweep it up. Let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, other side. Stand proper alignment. Okay, got my checklist together. Let's go. One, two, three. Think of the muscles you're working. Four, mind body connection. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last thing, the back extension, guys. I'm going to give you another option if you do not like bringing your arms overhead. Just it up and back. Shorter arm, shorter lever. So it makes it a, a little bit easier. It's up, pull down, one, two, we're gonna complete 10, three, grand finale. Nine, come on, we got one more. Nice job, you guys. Sit back into a child's pose. Try to have your forehead make contact with that mat. Sit back towards those heels. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Taking those arms and just walking them over to the right, placing your left hand on top of your right. Really sitting back with that left sits bone. Taking another deep breath, inhale, walk those arms to the left, place your right hand on your left. Really sit back with those, that right sits bone. And try to use your inhalation to get the length to the muscle and then exhale, settle into the stretch.
Okay, walking those hands back to center. I'm gonna have you curl those toes under into a downward facing dog. And then you could stay here or you can come up into a three-legged dog with a hip opener. Now I'm gonna give you the option to bring the knee through and set yourself up for pigeon. Now if you do not like pigeon, here's your option right here. Okay, this is your option. All right, so with pigeon, you want your ankle to kind of line up, your right ankle to line up with your left wrist. And you don't want to collapse onto that right hip. You want to really be long and tall, flexing through that foot. And if you're in your figure four, you still want to flex through the foot. Now, if you want to kind of drop into a more relaxed pigeon, And coming up out of your pigeon, let's pull that leg back, back into your downward facing dog. If you're on your back, just stay right there. Maybe tuck your knees to your chest. Maybe go up into your three-legged dog if you want, instead of just your down, down dog, and then bring that leg through. And if you're on your back, just switch legs in that figure four position. So really lengthening through the spine, pressing those hips forward really focusing on the breath and maybe going down into a lower pigeon. And now coming up out of your pigeon, pulling your leg back, now we're all gonna just meet into kind of like a propped forearm on the side. And we're gonna go back into a quad stretch. So you're gonna grab your ankle and kind of pull your knee back as you press your hip forward. Now you could stay up here on your forearm or you can be in a more relaxed position, kind of making like a little pillow with your bottom arm, whatever you prefer. This is your workout. So many different, um, versions of one move so you you never have to do something if you if you hate it there's always an alternative to kind of hit the same muscles okay and let's roll to the other side or prop up to the other side Now let's all roll up to a seated position. They call this staff pose. Um, if you have really tight hamstrings, you can always like roll up your mat or you can place a pillow underneath your hips to get them a little bit higher. Um, I want you to flex your toes back, point the toes to the sky. Take a nice deep breath, reach those fingertips up and then go into a forward fold. So rather than flexing your spine to get reach for the toes, I'd rather see you not touch your toes and get a longer spine and continue to get length to the hamstring. That's the whole goal here. And now we're gonna slowly come up to a standing position because if we, I, I would like to see you stretch out your calves, especially if you were doing a lot of jumping. So you want a diagonal line from head to heel. Make sure that back heel is pressed flat into the ground. Getting a nice little stretch in there. Now throwing a little bend to the back knee, but continuing to press the heel into the ground. And let's start to stack the shoulders over the hips, tucking the tailbone under, adding a little side bend, and trying to keep that arm in line with the ear, try not to bring it forward. And try to actually open up your chest a little bit as you do this. And then release and let's pivot. We're working the opposite 
stretching the opposite calf. Pull those shoulders down and back. Nice straight line from head to heel. And starting to bend the back knee a little bit, but make sure you keep that heel pressing into the ground. Starting to stack the shoulders over the hips, tucking that tailbone under, sweeping that arm up and over, maybe gazing somewhat into the crook of your elbow. And then take it down. Standing about hip width apart. Let's take a nice deep breath, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. We're gonna go right into a forward fold. So you can bend your knees if you have a little bit of tightness in the hamstrings. If not, straighten them a little bit more. Let your head just hang heavy. Interlacing your fingers behind your back, squeezing the palms together, bringing those arms up and over your head. Slowly releasing those arms and coming up one vertebrae at a time. And taking a nice deep breath, inhale. And exhale.